how to set up a payment plan inside your Thinkific course. Now, you may have clients who perhaps don't have enough money to pay for your course up front, so to make it more attractive for your audience to enroll in your programs, you could give people the option to do a payment plan. Those smaller monthly payments will give people an easier access into your course. It reduces those barriers to them making the buying decision. So I've had a client today ask me if they can get a payment plan for my concept to course coaching program. This is a higher ticket program, so for some people it's much easier if they can pay in installments. So um, let me just go back to where I was to show you what we're doing here. Now what you want to do to set up your payment plan is you go into manage learning content, you click on courses, and then you click on the course that you want to create the payment plan for. Now when this loads up, it will take you to your course editing page. It will normally by default land on the curriculum area, and you're gonna scroll on over to the pricing section for your course. Now this next step will only work if you have already connected your Stripe or PayPal payment gateways. So this will be grayed out and unclickable if you haven't yet added your payment integrations. You must have those set up first. So please go and do that first if you haven't yet. And as soon as they are connected, you will have these options to add different payment options. So as you can see, here's a number of different payment options. Um, it might be a one-off payment. It might be a free course. It might be a subscription. So that's when people just keep paying every single month forever until they cancel their membership. But what we're going to do today is the monthly payment plan. Now, this basically means that you have a set price for your course. So the example, I'm going to give you today is um, I have a program that's $1,500 and basically I want to break that down into three equal payments. So what will happen is when we set this up, Stripe will deduct that set payment from the student's account, the nominated bank account or credit card that they put in um, for the period of months until the actual $1,500 is paid off in this example. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on monthly payment plan and we're gonna press add a price. What price do you want to add? We want to add a monthly payment plan. Now, what do you want to call it? So for me, I have um, three packages for my program um, and this particular client wants a payment plan for my plus package. So I'm gonna call it the plus package payment plan. Makes it very clear and easy what it is, okay? Um, now, price per payment over how many months. So basically, um, you know, if you're putting it as a six month play payment plan, it will be whatever your price is for the course divided by six, and that's what your price per payment over six months is going to be. So my program is normally $1,500 for this plus package, and I'm gonna make a three month payment plan. So I'm simply going to put my monthly payment amount, which is $499 in my case, and they are gonna pay that over three months. So obviously $500 times three is $1,500. That will then have that person completely paid up. Now, enrollment duration just means um, how many days from the day that they sign up to this payment plan will they get access to the program for? So in my case, my students have three months access. And what do you want the button on your landing page to actually say? Now, I like to make mine really, really clear. It's the plus package payment plan. That's what I want my students to be able to see so that they know what they're signing up for. So I'm going to press save and voila, we now have a three monthly payment of $499, which is the plus package payment plan. Here you have a link. So when you hover over that, you'll see we've got a link there for my Thinkific school with a bit of gobbledygook at the end. But this is the link that takes your students directly to the checkout to enter into this payment plan. So I'm going to show you what this looks like. So we're going to press copy link. That's copied. Now, this is the link that I would give to my students who want to go on the payment plan. So I'm gonna open up um, an incognito window here just so I can show you what it looks like. So if I said to my student, okay, if you'd like to enter into the payment plan, just go to this link. So this is the link I'd give them. They click on the link and this is what they will see. So it will take you directly to the checkout page of your Thinkific school. It gives them the opportunity to either create an account if they haven't yet got an account inside your Thinkific school, um, or if they've already got an account inside your Thinkific school, they just press, I already have an account. And as soon as they've logged in, it will then tell them to put in their credit card details. 
it will take the first payment immediately. So they actually have to, you know, put in their credit card details and make that first payment in order to be able to get in. And then the remaining payments, whatever it is, however many months you've set it at, will automatically be deducted from their nominated credit card by Stripe. So you can see here just how fantastically simple this makes the whole process for you as the course administrator. They have to pay and put in their credit card details to get in and you don't have to worry about following up those payments because the system will then take those remaining payments automatically. Now one thing I personally do like to do when I have people on payment plans is I like to go into my accounting software and actually create an invoice for that particular student student uh, that I don't send out to the student I just have it in my system so that I can actually track whether those all of those payments came through you never know if there might be some random unexpected glitch in the system their credit card fails maybe their credit card expires maybe they manually go into their account and cancel their subscription payments I don't know look all kinds of things happen and these are things you can't prevent you can't predict so you simply have to put uh, safeguards in place and my personal safeguard that works for me is to just go into my accounting software, create an invoice for the full amount that should have been paid. And then when uh, my bookkeeper does sort of the monthly reconciliations, we just check to see if those payments are still outstanding. Then obviously from there, I can send out the invoice from the accounting software and just make sure that, uh, you know, no payments get missed that particular way. So I hope that helps for you. That is how to set up payment plans inside your Thinkific school.